It's your girl, Jessica, with my hip new intro, uh, because I'm wearing sunglasses. I'm wearing sunglasses because apparently it's the end of the freaking world out there. Coronavirus, yikes forever. Let's not talk about that, though. Today we're going to talk about smacking dragons, specifically Vermilion, the first of the six dragons, uh, the fire one. Uh, I'm not going to talk about Linworm. Probably not even going to do a video about Linworm because honestly the strat for Linworm is you host it and then you hit back, request backup and then you hope enough people care about Linworm to actually come and help you kill it. And if they do, you're fine. If they don't, well, welcome Linworm. Uh, the issue with Linworm, like, I complain about the six dragon weapons being kind of... Huh, it's not that they're kind of bad, it's that they are worse than Dark Opus weapons 1000%. Uh, and that's intentional, but it also means anybody that has a Dark Opus weapon, if definitely if they have it at five stars. Even if they have it at four stars, it's still probably better than um, the six dragon weapons. So anyone in that boat probably isn't going to give any levels of shits about Linworm besides just clearing it to get their crystals. So kind of feel like that was a misstep on Side Games' part. I'm also apparently Ray Charles doing my head thing. Um, let's talk about team setup. So Vermilion. Vermilion does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. So I've prepared for that. I'm running Spartan. I'm running Phalanx because damage cuts. Hardened Shield to not eat as many charge attacks. Revive in case he decides to shoot someone in the face for like 52,000 damage. Uh, and you know, you have to kind of scrape the pieces of them off the ground. Uh, that's what revive is for. Substitute. He's got a few attacks that hit really freaking hard that are plane damage that hit multiple characters, so you kind of want to sub them to reduce the overall amount of damage your team is taking. Because since they're plane damage, you can't lank them. Beyond that, let's see, the setup. Uh, smart glasses man himself, Altair, Lily, Europa, Folia, Makula. Pretty standard staff comp. I'd probably run Summer Cag if I had Summer Cag, uh, but I don't. So this is the team I'm running. Staff Grid. It's uh, This is pretty standard Primal Highlander Staff Grid. I'm thinking about whether I should call this a Whale Grid. It's not really a Whale Grid. There's only two Grand Weapons in here, which isn't that many. At some point, sorry by the way if my laundry machine is making a ton of noise in the background. Uh, at some point, I'm thinking about adding a folio bow and like a Europa spear and going crit water, in which case then it would be more of a whale grid. I don't feel like it's a whale grid right now. We'll see. Let's see. Uh, it does have two ran weapons. Uh, they're not absolutely necessary, though I will say Merglai's main hand really helps because it's got a 35% all elemental damage cut for allies until end of turn, and then of course the trium. And I will note that this setup. Um, Merglice plus Ultima Staff with the Strife um, mod on it, plus Savior of Hollow Ground. That's like that. That's I think almost maximum data cap uh, under Double Veruna. So it's actually pretty good. I know some people are like, "Why aren't you running all staffs with the Cosmos Staff?" And the answer is because that's not necessarily the right answer, buddy. Uh, the <laughs> you only lose one percent cap for not having all staffs. Like every like each staff you add adds a one percent cap. That's what you're losing. Plus you're losing some stats on on staffs, but it's not that big deal. Sub some weapons out. Anyways, summons for water. I would normally run Long G for crest, Gabriel for damage cap up. Uh, then like some Kula because her call is really good. It's cold cage plus charge bar boost. Then like I would probably run Kaguya, the new Kaguya, because her call seems pretty dope. However, she doesn't have her FOB yet, and I'm not running Makula because I don't think Cold Cage actually works on this boss. I haven't checked it out thoroughly, I just tried the fight. Like, I beat the fight once, and it didn't seem like it worked, but I wasn't paying close attention to it, so maybe it did work, I don't know. I'm just not running her here. I'm running Lucifer instead because, you know, the health and the, the attack, so that's nice. Um, they, the heal is just nice to have. This fight's all about saving yourself damage. And then Quillen. To resell all my skills. So this fight's about preventing damage to yourself, because uh, it's kind of like a race of attrition, because uh, he hits just really hard. So my damage cuts, there's Gabriel, there's uh, there's Lily, there's MC, there's Merglace, and then you can quill in to reset your skill-based uh, damage cuts. So that's a lot of damage cuts. That's just a freaking lot of damage cuts, and that's necessary, I feel. So, that's all said, let's go do the fight. 
Now, things to note, it is a one-on-one -on -one fight. This is on Stark Island in the second Skydom. I don't remember the name. Nathal Grand? <laughs> Nathal something? Nag... You know, the, that one. <laughs> the second one you go to. Uh, it's right here. This is a one-person fight. It is Battle System 2.0. What does that mean? Well... Were I cynical, I would say, oh yeah, and be a bird, be a bird, Spartan, very important. If I were cynical, uh, I would say that it didn't actually make that much difference, Battle System 2.0, but, you know, I'm not cynical, obviously. Uh, first thing to note, you don't get Chain Burst anymore. Instead, every time you charge attack, you're going to fill the Chain Burst meter. When it fills, next time you charge attack, you'll get the special effect of your Chain Burst for your element. I don't remember what Waters is, so we'll cross our bridge when it comes. Some of them heal, some of them render damage. I really should, sorry, some of them reduce damage. I should really look up what the Water one does, but I'm not gonna, because, you know, live fast, die young. Hopefully not die young. Uh, underneath every character is a little shield button. This is guard. This gives you 1,000 defense, I believe. It's not a damage cut. It just gives you defense. So don't think that it's a 1,000% damage cut. It's not. Skyfall will still blow your freaking face off. Other things to note, and that mechanic is necessary. You will have to guard some attacks, um, unless you are just super pro baller. Uh, the thing about it is, if you use a skill, you can't guard with that character that turn, if you, can't, if you use one of their skills. So for example, I can guard Waltair right now, right? Yeah, now he's protected. Uh, if I hit any of these skills, such as hit them all so we can get the ball rolling, I won't be able to guard with him. See, the guard button grays out. It gives me an error when I try to guard. So that's a good thing to remember. I've definitely gotten myself caught in weird situations because I forgot about that. I was like, okay, I'll use this skill, and then shit, I can't guard. <laughs> Don't let it happen to you. Saving my heals, uh, Europa 1, Lily 3, because I want to use them, I want to use the heal part of them efficiently, and no one's taking damage yet. Okay, 6k, whatever. Okay, Heat Ray. So here's an interesting thing. It'll tell you exactly who it's going to hit. So it's targeting this. It'll tell you what it's going to use. Heat Ray. I don't remember exactly what Heat Ray is. It's a single target, like, big damage. Um, and if it's yellow, I believe that means you. it's based on Charge Diamond. So this is the Charge Diamond Charge Attack. It's not a trigger. So if I boop him with the shield, like so, no longer going to get Heat Ray. Good thing to know. So, let's see, continue forward, no one's taking enough damage to be really concerned. Uh, yeah, just want to save all the healing I can. That should take him to 90. Yeah, okay, there's 90. This guy is also not super tanky. I mean, I'm running a pretty strong water team, so it's going to go faster. But, like, not... Could you stop hitting all your magma chamber? It's purple. Purple means it's a trigger, meaning you cannot delay out of it. Uh, it shows you who it's going to target, so Altair and Europa. Magma Chamber, I know from experience, happens to be plain damage, so you can't really lynx it. But you can sub it and watch these targeting things. Now it's only targeting MC instead of two characters. So, uh, let's see. Um, that reduces your da the damage you take by half. Sorry, I got a message that distracted me. Uh, it will go. It will go to MC. It hits for about 28k, which is significant, but not then in the world. And I wanted to do that because I'll just pot MC next turn. I can't guard with MC because I did. Um, I did hit sub on him, her. So let's continue forward. I'll also use Baruna because why the heck do you not? Actually, hold on. I'm gonna hold charge attack on MC because I can't. Uh, the I don't. You, it's plain damage. The damage cut's not gonna help, and it should be exactly 28. A little bit over 28k. MC's a little bit banged up. Not gonna lie. Let's pop MC. Hadron Sphere is next. I don't think this is plain damage, so I'm gonna go ahead and phalanx it. And everyone's a little bit damaged now, so I'll use Europa's thing. I'm not going to double damage cut because it's not that big a deal. I've also got a lot of AoE healing.
Hadron's Fear, 18. Ooh, that actually just kill Altair. Oh, oh no, blast his man himself. And this is why we bring Rez. Get back up. Totally fine with that, cause I got a Quillen, and you know that'll let me reset it with Quillen. So let's do whatever that skill is called. I went taking a little bit of damage, so I don't mind rolling Lily's heal. And I'm just gonna keep on beating face. Yeah, so this guy hitting for quite a lot of damage. Quite a lot of damage. Regardless, you don't really want to use any of your cuts unless it's for a trigger or for a charge attack, obviously. Especially you're running this setup because you've got a lot of healing every turn from Lily and Europa. Also, not gonna lie, last time I actually cleared this, didn't lose Altair until very late, so it's a little awkward he's dead. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Just go, it'll go a little slower because you don't have as much as, like, you don't, I'm not bringing as much in the way of support skills as with Altair. So this is Black Crevasse. This is going to Folia, and I believe this is going to pretty much kill Folia. Uh, so I am going to hit you with the old spear, uh, sphere, shield, and see if that helps. I'm also going to hold charge attack, because um, I'm going to stack it, I think, with Lily's... Stack my 35% damage cut. Ooh, 20k hit on Europa, though. Black Crevasse again, it's going straight to Europa. Well, let me heal Europa. And if my Galaxy Brain strat works, this Silver Frost Barrier with Charge Attack from Merg should be a 100% cut, therefore saving Europa's life. And if it's not, well, fuck me then, I guess. Charge Bar is 59% full. There's the cut. 69% full. Nice. 79% full. 89% full. What you got for me, fuckface? Zero damage. Take that, asshole. <sighs> you did skill seal Europa, which is super obnoxious. Just the most obnoxious thing. You're such an obnoxious freaking dragon. When does the skill seal go away? How many turns is this son of a bitch? One turn, okay. Let's see, I'm gonna cast Lily's Heal. Hadron Sphere, I don't really want to take that much damage. Um, I am just gonna go ahead and sub this, I think. Thinking. When does Quillen come off cooldown? In two turns. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna lanx it and then sub it. That might seem extreme, but that should reduce the damage considerably. And then I'm just going to quill in to reset my lengths. And I don't feel bad doing that because the fight's going pretty quick. It's at 63% now. So let's see your stupid Hadron Sphere. You jerk. You absolute pleb. I don't know why I shit talk the bosses so much. If you're watching my solo series, the whole thing is just me shit talking bosses and occasionally getting my face blown off when they've had enough of my bullshit. Um, gonna go ahead and Gabriel the Heat Ray and then Europa also to get everyone. Oh god, why is my laundry machine so loud right now? Don't you realize I'm recording laundry machine? You might think this is my fault for turning it on, and you know what? Shut up. It's so loud. It's so loud. It's so loud, it's driving me nuts. That didn't hit for much damage at all. Good, good. It sounds like it's going to freaking explode. <laughs> it's so angry, my laundry machine. Okay, okay. Hit all the skills. Oh, I think it finally finished. I'm not gonna quill in yet, because we'll quill in when we actually need something. And we don't need something right now. I don't think this, but yeah, this boss doesn't inflict summonless at any point. Thank God. Uh, so, yeah, what you got for me? Oh, 
2.5k hit. How quaint. How quaint. <laughs> you absolute pleb. Or should stop shit talking his boss before he just gets fed up and kills me. Anyways, Rez is up in three turns, by the way, which is why I wasn't too concerned that I'll take Ear just completely bit it for no reason. Um, though, if that happens to MC, that's probably a dead run. So maybe I should care a little bit more, but you know what? We're living life on the edge. Let's see. I think he has a 50% trigger. Do you? You do not. You do not. Nice thing about this setup, you never get surprised by triggers. Folia, also nice, because prevents charge diamonds from building up. Actually, all of Water Staff characters are really good. Like, I don't think I've ever seen an element as strongly defined by one by one um, weapon type as much as Water Staff. Guess I'll do that again. We'll see, this guy's kind of hidden hard because I don't have a def an attack down on him from Altair. Altair's dead. I'll save a little bit of damage since I used the Merg there. I didn't really want to save Merg in this case. 41%. Like, I feel like if things start going bad, knock on wood, we could probably still cockroach this one out. Br I am Brank. Brank Crevasse. A Blank Crevasse. Nice. Um, everyone's alive. So, we've got a couple options. I think instead of. Um, instead of, uh, I'll finish my thoughts someday. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Lanx into sub to prevent Lily from getting hit by it, in theory at all, and then just Lucifer for the buffs. I don't think Blank Crevasse does enough damage to be threatening, uh, Actually, no, it hits for a lot, actually. <laughs> I think it hits for like 52k, so this is probably a good strat. I don't think just the Lynx is a safe bet against it. I could be wrong, though. Let's see your stupid blank crevasse. Ha! Zero damage. Pathetic! Predictable! Oh, Magma Chamber. Well, that's awkward. Uh, so, Magma Chamber, the solution for that is... Uh, I'm gonna qu this. So this is why I save Quillen, and since it's gonna reset everything, I might as well just use this. I'll use Lily's damage cut, which doesn't matter for Magma Chamber because Magma Chamber is a um, plain damage act. Then I will Quillen. It's also why I'm using Reopen's one, even though no one's really hurt. Then I will sub the Magma Chamber, and then I'll hit a bunch of other shit. Uh, do I still have Trance on MC? I do for another four turns, so I will Trance someone else. We'll go ahead and cast Trance on Lily. And then, in with this. This shouldn't delay the, the thing. And he's got uh, attack up, uh, and in, he's got attack up, which is not removable. <laughs> it's kind of annoying that's not removable, because come on, it's always removable. Uh, let's see, do a little damage switcheroo here and cast this thing. Get all my shit back up, basically. And this magma chamber should be no big deal. Famous last words. I will probably need to heal through it. But you know what, it's fine. We're at 32%. Smooth sailing. Yeah. Yeah, magma chamber me. See if I care. That was a lot of damage. Not gonna lie. A lot of damage. Good thing I got a lot of healing. Ugh. Basically good as new. And the nice thing, I still got a little bit of that lingering damage cut from Lily, so I should reduce damages next turn. Good old Quillen. Long G you. Okay, what you got for me, buddy? You're not my buddy. And his charge bar's not gonna build because of Folia. So nice. So nice. Oh, 341 damage. How quaint. <laughs> you know what? I normally wouldn't do this. In fact, I said not to. 
but he is hitting really hard. He's got two turns left of his... I mean, I know his last hit wasn't really hard, but he has some potential hit really hard. So I'm actually going to use Frozen Bloom to reduce the damage, because that will last as long as his attack up buff lasts. So might not be the right play, but you know what? It's probably a good idea. I also think there's a trig come. Yeah, so that's like 5k. That probably would have been significant. Pale fire, no pale fire. None of that shit. Get out of here. What do you think this is? Delay, shield toss, so useful. Beat this guy up more. Nice thing about this particular setup is Merg is now on full charge bar. Oh, we gotta see what Chain Burst does. Do I have to that? I can't remember. What, does it just kind of Chain Burst? Full Burst, absolute zero. Take that, you sucker. I guess the Chain Burst for water is just plain damage. That's kind of interesting. Hadron Buster. With a name like that, <laughs> mildly concerning. Don't bust my Hadrons. What are you, a particle collider? Okay, sub is up in two turns. Let me go ahead and Phalanx plus Merg this, and that should be a full cut. Uh, so Phalanx, or sorry, Hadron Buster should be no big deal. I don't think it's plain damage. This is why Merg is a good weapon, by the way. By the by, for hard contact, Murgler is an excellent main hand. Taurus blight this idiot. Blight this idiot. Hadron Buster. Oh, nice zero damage, Baka. Gotta stop shit talking to boss, Jessica. Heat Ray. Alright. You know. We'll do it. We're gonna guard this Heat Ray, because I don't have anything else really good to use here. I got a nice revive, though, to bring her back. I got the CPR ready for when this fucking knocks her ass out. Uh, let's... Oh. Guard. <laughs> I don't know why it unguarded. Uh, okay. Let's see how much this guards. I... It should be... We'll see. I have no thoughts on right now on how it, well it's gonna work out. Okay, <laughs> almost 20k hit, so the guard probably actually saved her life. In fact, I'm going to just say it, that guard definitely saved her life. That would have been ugly, ugly if she had not had guard up. We're getting into the like go time here, and I don't want to lose shit just a random like super hard auto, so let's just go ahead and uh, cut and Gabriel again. Let's beat this idiot up some more. I, I mean, we're at the pay, the place where he's weak enough that I could probably just cockroach him to death. Like, with, with the backline and the revive. Even if he sniped MC, it probably won't be that big a deal. Because we still have a back row, because, like, we rezzed Altair. Oh, <laughs> 154 damage. Maybe we didn't need to Gabriel it. Oh, do you want to pale fire me? Oh, you can pale fire... That was said... Hellfire these nuts, but that'd be figurative. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, here's. Okay, I'm gonna sub this and then see how much damage it does through the sub. It's probably not gonna do that much, but you never know. Also, he's on 3%, so he's probably dead. Plus, I got a Merglice cut. Let's see if he even gets to do this. He probably will, but it's gonna be close. He's probably gonna be on 1%. 1%? 1%? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now he's dead. Bye, bitch. And that's uh, Vermillion down. Not a bad fight. Uh, I mean, I I have a decently. It feels. It still feels weird to say I have a, a decently strong water team because water's traditionally been my worst element. But you know, it's call it horse horse. The water team's not bad. Uh, I, I don't think it's that hard a fight though. Uh, the main. I mean, you've been watching this video. It's not really a guide, but like pro tips. Uh, bring damage cuts. Bring, like, ways of resetting damage cuts, and then you'll probably be fine. Bring healing. Like, healing, damage cuts, ways of resetting damage cuts. Uh, nothing really galaxy brain there. If you got nothing left, remember you can guard, and it guarding might save a life. Um, the chain burst thing, they made a lot of hype out of it. It doesn't seem like that big a deal to me. Like, 
some plane damage great, I guess. Uh, yeah, it, I don't know. Battle System 2.0, there's probably going to be fights where it matters more that you're able to do that stuff, but the chain burst thing especially, it's going to, you know, like, who cares? Knowing if a trigger is coming that you can't um, delay out of is kind of more of a big deal. So I like that. Uh, knowing what charge attack specifically is coming will probably be nice. I know, like, even to this day, like, when I do Lucy HL, even though I did, like, an hour-long video about it, uh, check it out, by the way, I still, like, look over at my friends, I'm like, okay, Wings are alive. He's in overdrive. He's not on a trigger. He's got full charge diamonds. Which charge attack is he gonna use? Is it Foss? Is it Foss? It's probably... No! It's... Is it Axion? Is it Foss? Like every freaking time. That's like the conversation we have. It's maddening. So it's kind of nice that that's what uh, they're doing now. So I don't mind system. I think the rewards are super poopy. Yep. Rewards in this ultra poopy. <laughs> but if you don't have Lucy HL weapons, um, then they're probably fine. They're, they're probably fine. They're just... Not an upgrade for a lot of people, which is really, like a weird choice. <laughs> Vermilion was kind of an interesting fight. I do like, I do enjoy like these one-on-one -on -one fights, though. Um, I seem lower pressure than having people depend, like wait on you and having to coordinate everything. So they're nice. They're they're nice. I don't mind them. They're, I like the fight. The fight's fun. Catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't get sick, and if you do get sick, don't get other people sick. That's my PSA for today. Don't spread the plague. I will see you guys later. Bye.